Round one, fight. The Elder Gods are pleased. Raiden wins. Flawless victory. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 augment build video. And today I'm going to be going over my unblockable lightning storm luckality augment build for Raiden. And if you're wondering exactly where to get Luck Out, you can find Luck Out inside of the Test Your Luck Towers when you play them on Brutal Difficulty. And if you want a max level Luck Out, aka a level 4, make sure to play the tower that requires 2,500 hearts on Brutal Difficulty, and it'll drop for the boss tower character that you just fought inside of that tower. And right before I do get into the video, just make sure to hit that like button, as well as the subscribe button, and also the great buttons you can press down below, as it would really help me with producing these videos every single day for you guys. Not only that, but when you are subscribed and you recommend a video down in the comment section down below, I am more likely to do a video, or at least do a video sooner, so it's a win-win scenario, and who doesn't like a win-win scenario, am I right? So let's just go ahead and hop right into this uh, augment build. So we have our two armors I've equipped. It's going to be level 3 armor clad and level 3 pumped up. It's level 3 pumped up because it's 750 more health. The reason why this is going to be extremely helpful is if we are finding something like a co-op tower, a boss tower, even a test your luck tower, we want to make sure that we have a lot of health. So if we do mess up and we do get hit, we won't be instantly killed because you can't deal much damage when you're dead. Talking about defense, next we have a level 3 armor clad. So this gives you 3 hits of rechargeable armor. If you don't know what rechargeable armor is, it basically allows you to build the tank hits without getting hit out of whatever move you're trying to do. It also prevents you from being comboed while you have your armor activated. Next two armies have equipped or allows us to be able to instantly kill our opponent. It's going to be a level 4 luck Audi and a lucky rabbit's foot. So level 4 luck Audi reads we have an 8% chance for our brutalities to automatically trigger and instantly kill our opponent no matter how much health the opponent has left or round we're currently on. And when you put that with a lucky rabbit's foot, it basically just doubles the chance of getting that brutality off of your hits. If you're wondering exactly how that works, lucky rab um, I mean luck Audi falls under the category of a uh, positive modifier. And all uh, lucky rabbit's foot is, is it increases your luck. And all luck is, is your positive modifiers. And since Lucky Rabbit's Foot increases your luck, aka your positive modifiers, by 100%, 100% of any number is just going to be double that number. And as I stated earlier, luck ality falls under the ca category of a positive modifier, and luck is just your positive modifier, so it's increased by 100%, and a double of 8 is just going to be 16. Next, our arms have equipped are what allows us to be able to make our attacks unblockable, and this is going to be natural 20 and running on empty. So natural 20 makes all their effects always trigger, which is actually going to be pretty good with the agency arm we uh, have equipped. But it also uh, takes away both of our gauges, which is the main reason why we're using this augment. If you're wondering why we want to take away both of our gauges, that's because of the augments called Running on Empty. So it makes our special attacks have to be flawless blocked, which they rarely do in the first place. Another added bonus is that um, when you have no gauges, anytime you block an, an attack, it'll flawless block that attack. For the Jinsei arguments, I use a level 4 Godly Wrath, which makes all of our electric attacks have a 60% chance to shock. And with natural 20, it's basically 100% chance to shock, so they'll be shocked quite often because you're using an electric move. Next one to be a level 4 Circuit Breaker, so this reduces the amplified cost of Spark 4 by 70%. I don't, I don't know really why I have this equipped, but feel free to equip anything else. Next one to be a level 1 Strike Force. I just don't have really a higher Strike Force, but basically what Strike Force does is it increases the number of lightning bolts inside of your lightning strikes since i only have a level one it only increases by one but if you have a level four make sure to equip that because it will increase it by four which just gives you more chances of performing that luck out brutality for the abilities you can use anything you want personally i like using storm cell and spark port and for the air behavior i use a pretty aggressive build that's going to be 10 grappling 15 rush down 20 combos and 15 reversal so, uh, yeah, that's my argument build. If any recommendations, make sure to leave it down in the comment section down below and do my best to respond to you. If I can't, I can guarantee you some of this amazing community will. And perhaps you should consider joining this amazing community as I do boast you every single day of the week. And it would extremely help me out a lot. Not only that, but we talk about all things Mortal Kombat and really just video game related in general. So if you're interested in anything like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I hope I can see you guys in the next one. Peace. Round one, fight! The Elder Gods are pleased. Raiden wins. Flawless victory. Round one. Fight! The Elder Gods are pleased. Raiden wins. Flawless victory. Round one. Fight. Ah! 
Your time has passed. Raiden wins. Flawless victory.